Hi guys, welcome to MI Tennis. My name is Nikita and this is lesson two. Today we're going to be talking about feedback. Now why are we doing this? Well, we are on an impossible mission to create you know, a really good player and that doesn't just involve the movement or the performance, it also involves uh, how we communicate with the athlete. So I actually researched this myself a couple of years ago, but there's actually many different types of feedback in all eight. So let's take a look at it. There's also there's intrinsic feedback. Now this types of feedback is um, comes from within. It's uh, sensory information. Now there's pros and cons to uh, all of these feedbacks, but here's a pro. Um, it's very good for high autonomous uh, performance because they've experienced uh, you know doing the stroke many times, so they kind of understand uh, what they need to change. Um, now the con of intrinsic feedback is that it's very poor for beginners because they just don't know how it feels. <laughs> anyway, uh, extrinsic feedback. Extrinsic feedback, it's from outside sources. Coaches, you know, parents uh, like yourselves uh, and whoever is around. Uh, again, uh, the con is it's very good for beginners because they are told what to do um, and you want that. However, uh, the performer could become reliant on it, and that's the con. You know, we actually want them thinking more. Um, so uh, there's the knowledge of results. Now, knowledge of result type of feedback is uh, when you do something, you get a certain result. It's like, did you did it go in? That's the question. Is it in or is it out? So you automatically know. Uh, and now there's the knowledge of performance. And knowledge of performance is, uh, did you, even though it went in, what type of uh, stroke did you do? Did it, was it a good one? Or was it, you know, you hit the frame and it went in? So, like performance in ice skating, they're looking at how they're doing the movement and all that stuff. Although I'm not sure about ice skating, so uh, don't take my word for it. Um, and there's eight different types of feedback methods. Um, let's go through all of them uh, as much as I can. So first one is corrective feedback. All of the technical, tactical and other, spe other specific info given to the learner to improve performance. So um, I mean just basically technique uh, or uh, technique, uh, tactical, uh, what, what not. I mean like for example on the serve. Uh, toss with your straight hand up. You know, we uh, we talked uh, in lesson one about tossing arm. This is very important, having a straight arm. So that's um, corrective feedback. Next is summarizing feedback, and this is what happens usually uh, in a regular group lesson, tennis lesson. After after it's done, the coach goes over over um, and summarizes the the idea, uh, what what we did. Positive feedback, verbal and non-verbal feedback that contributes to accomplishment of goals. So some of the cons is that giving positive feedback strengthens what you want them to do. But if you give praise where it, not, where it is not deserved, uh, they will get used to hitting, uh, getting praise no matter what they've done. So uh, it's, it might backfire. Um, negative feedback, so it's the opposite of positive. Um, it's uh, a verbal feedback that distracts from which uh, what needs to be accomplished. Uh, but if it's um, used effectively, um, it can motivate performance because they know exactly what needs improvement. So, like for example, you're doing it wrong. Let's let's get the you know, let's get the tossing arm straight up. Now, you know, it just goes over here. So get it straight up. So, um, but it, obviously, uh, uh, it can be demotivating. Um, so it's uh, uh, it really depends on who you use it to. <laughs> uh, next, immediate feedback. It's a form of corrective feedback given immediately after the coach uh, after the action. Uh, but not just after the action, before the athlete has, uh, has time to even think about it. So it's like instant bombardment of like, 
split, split, split. You know, I, I, I used to always just say split, but then I kind of stopped. I realized it doesn't work. You know, kids will start split stepping when they need to. <laughs> um, anyway, um, let's see. Next, delayed feedback. Uh, it's, a, it's a form of corrective feedback given with a little delay after the action. And the point is, is to have the athlete to think about it. You know, you kind of stop what they're doing, just think about it. They stop and it's like, okay, and now you can give them feedback. Uh, fading feedback, mm, given regularly in the early stages, but then due to improvement, uh, you know, you gradually reduce the feedback. Uh, and this is the one I like to use the most because uh, uh, I like this type of feedback. You know, in the beginning, you tell them more, 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 and then eventually, you, throughout different lessons, you actually talk about how you're supposed to be improving yourself and you're supposed to be thinking about it, and eventually you reduce the amount of feedback because you don't want to be out there just yelling all the time, uh, which I used to do. And uh, I felt that, you know, some parents actually love it, but uh, I felt that uh, it's, uh, it, it may have been for me, but now it's not so much. Mm. Although I can still do that. <laughs> and there's also bandwidth feedback, which I'm not too sure about, but it includes reduced frequency, delay, and fading to gradually lead the athlete into a state of own understanding. So an example would be subject, received feedback when it was some number that they've gotten like from a target you know so they've gotten 10 uh, let's say they've gotten five out of ten it's like oh okay well, I, I see I see what what's happening here I see that I need to work on it so this this is probably like uh, the test uh, in school and uh, so all of this is quite important uh, but just pick a few you don't have to use all but just pick a few of them and uh, try and see how your athlete responds it's uh, very important to stay positive um, especially with young kids kids um, you want them and since we are working with young kids here we we want them you know coming back for more tennis otherwise you know you do something negative and then you know, all hope, all hell breaks loose, and they don't want to do it next day. Anyway, um, this was lesson two. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.